Today's tip isn't so much about storytelling, it's more personal growth. However, you could possibly use this in your story, so take it for what it's worth. Back in April of this year, I set a goal of giving 100 speeches in 140 days. And when I set this goal, I knew it was pretty outrageous. Now, today is the last day of my time frame to give 100 speeches in 140 days, and guess what? I didn't come close. I did 52. I shared this recently with somebody and she said, well, you feel bad that you failed? And I said, I didn't fail. I knew when I set the goal, it was pretty unlikely. And fortunately, business has been good the last four months. But think about this. I did 52 presentations, speeches, stories, whatever it was, in 140 days. That is growth. I, I did this because I wasn't speaking enough at the time when I set the goal. I've gotten 52 under my belt. I've really helped one of my stories along. I've given some presentations to some groups I wanted to get in front of. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a success. 52 pre presentations I hadn't done are now under my belt. And now I can set another outrageous goal. The point of this is don't look at a, an attempt as fail pass. I didn't hit a number, who cares? I knew it was a big number, but I got some benefit from it. When you're developing your stories, perhaps you can look at failures or success in a different light. What are the good aspects that came out of a goal that was not reached? In the next tip, you're going to hear about a storytelling device that most of us use, but we don't use it intentionally, and that way we're not maximizing its potential.